God dang. Skip. Skip it a dip. The man's not even on the screen. Wait, does that one? <laughs> this is sus. I'll fix it. I'll swear to gold. I'm pretty sure this is a dead match up there. Now we wait. It's doomed. That's totally not blinding. Get, just get there. Perfect, there we go. God scuffed. This is shit you should do beforehand. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. Oh my god, what? Hmm. This song. Got Nicki Minaj, I wanna hear it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. No. All right. Let's see what the fuck we can do. Enough messing about. This is rough. That's enough for now. So he can do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus six is fourteen. We can go down health to twelve, so he can kill us then with a thingamajig. Is that a risk we want to take? Holy fuck, that looks sick. Are you telling me there's a new card back? I literally didn't know that. That looks so cool. Um, it's a big risk and there's no draw involved. If we can't draw to a card, it's very risky. So we're not going to do that. But if we can't figure out something like that, we're pretty fucked. Yo, Ascension! Woohoo! Yeah, dude. I'm I'm giving Sifu's thing a crack. I did get unlucky. I actually queued into Otis off stream. It's a shame it's Otis. He didn't have the unity. I think he'd use it there, right? Yeah, I'm fucked. So he's pushing four, five, six, seven, right? If I don't get Ceres here, I reach Mythic with TBH version of Rock Trace. Are you kidding me? Wait, is that new? Is there a TBH version now? Don't act like you know me. Mama. I did. I fuck it. I fucked it. Is ramping useful to me or him? He's gonna get hysterious. I'm gonna get my ass whooped. Bro, it's it's cracked that you keep the two two, right? <laughs> I like that a bit. So I can kill my own duty, but it's like, what's worse? So he can do, what is that? Let's say he can do 510 damage, right? 
and he's got four, five, six, seven. Even if if anything here survives, I'm screwed pretty much. Nah, thanks for asking. So yeah, four, five, six, plus four. If he has a form of unity, he auto wins. If he doesn't, how much are we pushing? 18, 21, 23, fucking 28. We're pushing 28. Huh. Check ID, 30, yeah, 332375. I have to get sulfuric rain for seafood. Right, yeah. Okay, so this is quite fascinating. We're not actually pushing lethal, though, if we happen to, um... He got 15 wins last weekend and 14 this weekend rank. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, if he has the Dawn, he wins. If he has, what is it, that 5 mana 3 damage, that 6, 7, 8, 9, he can't win. It has to be Radiant Dawn. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, that's like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Five, six, seven, eight. Damn! He could have had nine, but he would have had to make an extra spot. So, here's the tricky part. I can't actually trade these all out. I can only trade one for one on the board, right? So, one... And that needs two for one trading. So, I have to push lethal somehow. I have to have, like, a dangerous ritual or some shit, which I don't... I mean, that's cool. That might keep me alive, actually. Um, we can't kill the 5-7, can we? It's gonna take... But, it's five times the resources for two slots, so it's worth it, right? Oh, that's three. I think it's still worth it to do this. I know it looks crazy. I'm pretty sure this is still worth. Even though it's really sus. Oh, uh, you know what? Even though this is crazy, we can heal for six by just healing off a rock drake. I think I auto win, right? Yeah. I don't need to do anything crazy here. Dude, this is huge. Like, legit, I win. I straight up just win now. I cannot believe this. Dude, what the fuck? All I need is uh, over the line. I had to be a bit creative. He also didn't hit the Radiant Dawn early in the game, which is uh, sad. Bro, Winterland cards look dope. I wish the cards were tilted more so you could see the, like, actual logo and shit better. Yeah. Sorry, Otis. He's not doing his weekend, is he? Not at 10.30 on a fucking Monday. I'm actually shocked. This is actually working. Like, what can he do on turn 6? Play like... Yeah! Yo, are you Dayan? Yeah, literally, dude. This is Sifu's list. I'm only 3-0. and oh. I don't actually know if it's, like, super crazy crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's as thick as poo, but we'll see, we'll see. We're giving it a crack. What's up, darkest? Is it dark in here? It is kind of dark, isn't it? My green screen's sus. Look. It, it's, um, Ken Gods. What the hell? Thank you for the raid, bro. Oh, Thanks, Ken Gods. I'm saying aw at this cat, bro, this little cat. Thank you so much, Ken. Appreciate you. Trinket looks absolutely ass. Wow. Wait, where is the trinket? Did we get the new trinkies? Did I get one? Oh, huge. How many? Just one? Huge. Yeah, this looks cool. Why does it say common? Oh, yeah, there's different versions, right? Have a nice stream. Thank you, Ken. You have a nice night. Thank you so much, bro. Otis, GG. I hope that wasn't your weekend or anything. I look, I'm going to stick with the whale token, but this doesn't look too bad. I like that we're getting new card backs. I know it's stupid, but I bought every card back. It's just the collector in me. But I draw the line at um, trinkets. I'll buy all the card backs because of seven, but look how many fucking trinkets there are, bro. I'll be, I'll be fucking... I'll be in like a 30-year debt like I bought a house if I try and buy those. You bastard, you got me. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, no, it was rough. Buy the Borb. Um, I will never buy a Borb skateboards, out of principle. I deserve two Borbs. I know that sounds entitled, but I do. I'm just waiting. I want two Borbies. At least. Alright. Hola. Slivka. How you doing, Slivka? 
But yeah. Dude, I've been in this community almost three fucking years. I've been fucking producing content when no one else will. I've been doing... I've given away like 10,000 US dollars worth of cards. I've given away fucking... I don't know, a hundred hours of my time coaching players. It's like, holy shit, bro. I can't even get my hands on a fucking sexy little ball. Can I make gods 50 cents? I genuinely could. I could fix the token system if they had hired me, but not if they haven't hired me, no. But I know I could get it to 50 cents. That's not even a challenge. They're, they're literally not even trying to get that token up in price. Ranking back to Mythic. That's what I like to hear, Slivka. If you ever need some coaching, hit me up. I'll do it borb borbless. Boobless and borbless. I, I do coaching. But yeah, just let me know. If you want a coaching session, my boy Mr. Wilfong, he was sitting in Midnight Shadow. One fucking hour with me, he's Mythic now. This is not even fake news. Go ask him. What I just found out, and it looks optimistic for me, is that there are 19,254 unexpected gifts. It means that same number of players were eligible to get it. I was under the impression that they aren't. Uh, yeah, okay, but... Uh, Otis, I don't mean to burst your uh, proverbial bubble, but let me put out a theory. What if uh, half of those players are bots? <laughs> yeah, and what if half of those um, players have multiple accounts, right? I feel like more people buy them. Yeah, I think it's a collector's thing, right? There's only 10k. Uh, I actually... I... Oh, Sifu put them in this deck, so I'm playing them. First time I hear about bots in GU. I know, right? Shock. Shocking. Hey, I don't mind it, dude. As long as my Q times are low, just fucking... That's all I care about, bro. Dude, you know what? The bots are harder than the real players. Nah, at least in chess, right? Let me finish. Chess bots, like chess AI, beats any Grandmaster player. It's actually depressing. When you, your game, like, has been replaced by a robot. It's like... That's the one thing you wouldn't want robots to replace, right? Your fucking leisurely activities in your pastime. I run into bots in Mythic a couple of times. How do you know they're really bots, though? You know what I mean? You know what we need? We need a chat bar. We need a chat. We need, like, a little text bar we can talk. But I'll tell you what. If we had one, the bots would just use chat GPT to communicate, and they'd literally have better conversations than real people. And you wouldn't be able to tell them apart, so I guess that's not really a KYC solution. I know when that highlight means. May as well rock the Drake, if you know what I mean. Yo, Chandu! What's up? Let me show you under this desk. I need to get the desk cam on so I can show you what's up. Now, nah, dude, I'm enjoying Rock Drake's though. I'm really enjoying it. It's good. I'm getting those play to earn rewards too. I, I spent so much money on a shiny Rock Drake deck and then they nerfed it. So if I can make, if I can make this shit work, I'm going to be very happy. The decks they use and the play styles like bad trades, etc. Mm. Look, human error is a thing. Like, you guys... Dude, if that were the case, Slivka, wouldn't I be a bot? Like, have you guys seen the dumb shit I do? <laughs> I've used Warp Engineer to reduce the cost of clone instead of uh, school teacher when I'm trying to clone school teachers. And I've done that three times in a row. Three games in a row. I'm... No cap. If that's not a fucking bot... <laughs> you know what I mean? I think you're overestimating real people. Yeah, I use Flourish God Power, bro. <laughs> I don't know if that's an inside joke, Skateboards, but I literally use Flourish God Power. <laughs> Carcass confirmed bot. I don't want health, actually, so I can get the possessed out. Oh, actually, misplay alert, maybe? No. Unless we had the other thing. Me and my love. I see him use Flourish God Power with Spawn of uh, Caitlyn. <laughs> Literally, dude. I've, I've done that. Oh, 
I thought that was the next line. Now I look like more of an idiot. Alright, so we hit face for six. We re-sleep. Hero power, no. What do we get rid of? Si Maybe we get rid of Fleshbind, so Siren? Ooh. Actually, I can't do that. What Spirit Storm draws me two cards, which is sus, but it's also useful. No, 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 we're not doing that. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. I think we go with the original plan. Lads, what do you think? Ooh, I've got an even creamier idea. What if I just do this, dude, and I break all the rules? Yeah, why not? Draw me two, put them to sleep, but let me keep my juices. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Rock Drakes? Oh, my days. Uh. Oh, my ding dong days. Uh. I, I, I know I shouldn't do this. Shouldn't I? No, I've got sleep on the board, right? I really want to fucking do that, though. <laughs> Draw three, four, five, six, seven. What do you guys think? I'm shopping with my wife. Oh my god, dude. Like, I don't know what's worse. I used to sh have to shop with my mum when I was younger, and she wouldn't even have money. She'd just look at shit through the window, like window shopping, and I'd grab her and go, let's go home! Just yell. Cause a fucking scene. I fucking hated shopping with my mum, so I can't imagine what shopping with a wife is like. And the worst part is my mum would use her money, but your wife probably uses your money, so it's actually worse than shopping with your mum. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I I wish I had that sooner. Oh, now we lost it anyway. That's a bit sexist, you know. Maybe she pays for you, and she hates shopping. You know what I mean? You just don't know. It's 2023. Uh, shit. Now, do we take the safe approach and trade the board? Storm again? Oh, shit. Wait, what the fuck? Fuck the safe approach. Why did I sulfuric these juices? I didn't even... Bro, I'm just trying to overdraw. What am I doing, Step Bros? Oh, shit. I don't even have room for Empire Reborn. I could technically sleep the board, but I think I could trade it too. Let's choose non-confusions. Holy shit, dude. Imagine having... Wait a, wait a minute. Give me that fucking... Um... You know what to do. You know what to give me. I know exactly what I want. And I want it now. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, right? I need, um, over the line. That's the one. So, all I need to do where... Doesn't matter what do I... What I attack, really. So, I'm about to draw, like, four cards off this and overdraw. If I overdraw over the line, we cry. But if we don't, we're happy. So, we'll probably do this... So we have, like, room to draw. So we have a, something in five chance. Let's... Yes! <laughs> oh, this, wait, no, I can't do it. Oh, if I over the line, what do I get? Five mana back? Refresh five mana? Yeah, no, this is chill. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This is nuts. Holy... Did over the line just get better? Bro, What? why didn't I play this version before? You have Pip. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What is that? Five times six? Oof. What is that? 30 on the ding dot? Ding dong dot? Jesus. 30 bang, dude. OTK. I reckon I should have... Yeah, if I played these cards with the five mana over the line, holy shit. Could you imagine that? Right. Uh... Thus far, I haven't played that stupid, um, whatever that card's called, unexpected, uh, gift once. Rock Drakes are back! Dude, I don't know. Maybe. 4-0, let's go. Can we do the Sifu 10-0? Is 
Exactly. Wifey, 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 wifey. Wifey, 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 wifey. That's a wifey, 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 wifey. It is my money. I carry the bags, and like she takes one hour in every store we get in. We are uh allowed three hours in, and we are still on the first floor. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You're a good husband, Slivka. Just persevere. You're a good man. Whatever you give a woman, she'll give you tenfold. So, don't you worry about your generosity. Infinite money glitch? What? Alright. <laughs> I think we take this against nature. No, what I'm... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with these. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. If he happens to have uh, 40 health, right, I can't actually OTK nature. I can do, what, 36? 6 times 6, right? I can do 36, but how do I push that extra 4? That's the tricky part. I, I do think this is control, but we don't know. He could just assume I'm a Nubians and he wants a bit of healing. Healing on the side. Gift useless? Yeah, look, I'll be honest, in all four games, I haven't used it once. It has been the card I... You know what gift is used for? When I want to obliterate a card with my siren, that's where gift comes in hand. In handy. I don't know if coining was the right option. Baby, baby. It was all a dream. I'm not in the mood for that. Wait, 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 wait. I like that little Wayne song. Is that gonna pop up again? Yeah. What I would do without y'all. Uh, can I get a lightning strike, please? I lose to control nature every game today. Oh, bro. Join the join the bloody club. Okay, that's a decent start. Swing twice, please. You'll be fine, I promise. What are the odds he just like throws another ball? Oh, okay. Maybe one swing. Damn, this Rock Drake provided 12 face damage. Oh no. That's actually annoying as fuck. Dude, it's actually pretty fat, right? In a way, Spirit Storm gives me the Rock Drake, but it also gives me the second Rock Rock Drake. It does fail against light, right? A lot of the times you'll verse light, it'll be like, okay, now they can levy your Rock Drake and it's gone from the void forever. But it seems to, in this meta, there's, there's an unnatural amount of nature players, no pun intended. So it's just doing work. Lightning? What's he doing here? Bro, this guy's desperate. I'm about to push lethal out here. Oh, this is over. Mm. I can't actually pop the, uh, the Dringo. What I can do, though. It, it's really sus, but I think this is the right move. Oh, B. See? Bro! <laughs> this, oh my, indeed, right? Bro, Spirit Storm isn't future OP, it's, it's OP now, apparently. I, ca I am on my game today. I went on a fucking um, three-hour bike ride, bro. I'm in the zone, but yeah. I can't deny Sifu can build a fucking deck, bro. This guy's already dead. The game just began. I can't go crazy with double Rock Drake in the void. I did get greedy here. Whoa, did he just transform? Oh, he failed. 
Wow. Um. I know I could have light bombed that thing, but I wanted to get extra spicy, right? You feeling the creativity, lads? It's like, do we want to kill a 3-3, or do we want to summon 12-10 um, worth of stats on the board? Two rock breaks, 12-10. 6-6 is 12, 5-5 five, five is 10. Right? Yes. Oh, I just realized, if he has 40 health, we swing for 36, and then we use over the line or whatever. That's uh, 72 damage, right? So we definitely have OTK potential still. <laughs> this guy is dead. I mean, he's one turn away from the Demish Morgan. But yeah, it's uh, not looking too good for my friends. Although now it might. Oof. We can throw an archer at him, honestly. All I need is an ogre the lion and we're juicy. This is a little bit sus. It's like, yeah, we could draw with this guy. I don't know, man. Ah, fuck it. He healed for, like, what, 20 health? And then we did 12, 13, so... But yeah, he can easily, uh, what's the name, Demogorgon here, and it would be very annoying. Yo, Uni, how you doing? He could double Demo, and then we're pretty uh, sad. It hits the 1-1, one, one for sure. Ah, uh, that's a high roll. Uh, and now we just cry? What can we do here? Uh, no. We can't do anything here, actually. I can necro, but that's so troll. No. We're going to overdraw if he kills this. I guess what we're praying for is that he doesn't have the second demo. That would be very unlucky for us. Very lucky for him. Sus title? <laughs> You know it, bro. You know it. Oh my god. Bro, the, literally the last time I played against Control Nature, they played double, double Demogorgon. I can't remember the name of the player. We actually knew him. He was uh, a watcher of the stream. And this guy did it to me too. Bloody hell. Sleeping back? I can't even, right? I mean, I can, actually. <laughs> I don't like... Yeah, actually, I do like this. I changed my mind. This is actually the play. There is no other play. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could play this stupid thing just to get an extra draw. But then he heals for three, so that's bad. Yeah, obliterate the gift. I'm an idiot. That's why. I just thought about it now. I was like, what the hell is this thing? Okay, yeah. Yeah. The attention is... The attention span's going downhill. So we have one, two, three. That's enough. I can't hear a pal. I can't... no. We'll keep the Canopic for next turn. I'm still impressed with the performance of these cards, but yeah. Nature's gonna do th shit like this. Okay. Oh, oops. Oops. Yeah, I messed up. It would have been really nice having a second Acolyte, and then going double Necronomics to 14 health on the dot. Yeah. You miscounted. Uh, yeah, maybe. Hey, we haven't milled a card yet. Oof. Oh, it's only Empire Reborn. Why would I want that? Cards, yuck. Uh, do we have the ramp in the void? We have a siren. And an archer. I'm just looking at, like, a card that could do three damage. Oh, technically, I should siren, right? Mm, it's hard, it's hard to say. I should not, not siren. I can though. Totally can. Alright, I'm doing it. Fuck it. Okay, if I do this, we're chilling. Okay, what do I want to do here? Just empty my hand and overdraw it as per usual. And then we'll do that. So we have like... Yes, yes, yes. He has no favor. That's a good start. We could do more, but we should just leave it here. I have to... Uh, if I do this, he can use Enchanted Vines and heal, so we're not actually going to do that either. Now I'm going to overdraw again, because I 
filled my hand up at the wrong time. See, I, I do like a snowball effect. When things go bad, they go really bad. They start going down, down, down. When we go downhill, we gain momentum. What did he do? Did he do the vines? Did I actually call something correctly? I called both things. I would overdraw and he'd vines. I called both events, at least. Hey, man. He's so sweet. I still think this is winnable, even with this ridiculous, uh, these ridiculous misplays. Like a lollipop. Ooh, that's big. The fact Siren's still here. Did you get the card back? Yes, I did. Uh, maybe I should have popped this, uh, but how? I could have traded this in actually to the, but he'd heal for two. It probably wouldn't have mattered. Is this lethal? It probably was lethal, right? Yeah, look, seven, six, 13, 14, 15. If I didn't play like one mana, I could have uh, Necronomic'd over the line. But of course we missed that. Okay, let him double Compost Charm, why won't you? Oh boy. How many misplays can I do and win the game? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's the challenge this game. We made the right play not letting him heal, but yeah, we misplayed by just not going for lethal. I thought it would be harder than it was. Oh. If he hits here, it's bad. Necro, Necro. Yeah, I thought about it, but it, then you can't over the line as easily. But it sets up the uh, Acolyte really well. Wow, he's just like low rolling. He's trying to kill this so badly, he keeps missing. It's kind of funny. If he doesn't kill it properly... Oh, I figured he had that. I think I fucked this though, realistically. Do we want to heal him for 6 to do 4 damage? That doesn't seem very intuitive. Yes, yeah it was bro. I didn't realize I had 2. That's even more embarrassing. Holy shit. Don't remind me. Okay. But do. Because I like that. Bro. What am I doing? You know what? I can't buy from there, can I? Oh, fuck it. You know you take one less damage using the Ferret Sacrifice as opposed to just skipping your turn. Okay, so we're pushing 24. 25. 26. Oh no, see if I play an unexpected gift, it's negative. See, I don't think these gifts are good. Maybe against like wall? I don't know. But, I, I, let's just count this as a win. So this is 5-0, and o, right? We figured, like, it wasn't like we... Oh, please hit here. <laughs> Talk about bad RNG. That's exact lethal with Rune of Fire. 24 plus 3 is 27. Oh, no. We're still one short. Bro, he's already healed for, like, 60 health this game. Double demo, uh, Winter's Bounty, and Compost Charms. But yeah, we did miss lethal so ridiculously. Should I just over the line now while I've got it? Like surely, right? Mm hmm. I don't think I'm going to get a better opportunity. Now we pray. I'm sure he could, like, find uh, 8 mana Hevna. Bruh. If he does Hevna, we could have... T 
technically servanted, but then we wouldn't have the swing face in the first place. Oh shit. There's no way we make it through here. He can already swing and then rune a fire. Unless he hits face here, we're done. The 50-50 we need to win. Fuck, and we lost it. But we didn't deserve this win anyway. We had missed a free win. We deserved the loss, though. But this card doesn't seem very helpful. Brimstones would have won me the game here. But again, if I'm versing aggro... Oh, wow, okay. This guy's trolling me now. Okay, we never had it. We had it, but we didn't. Unlucky. Alright, so that's 5-0. and oh. We'll just count that one as a win. That's a win for fucking skateboards, right? Necro, Necro, yeah. And Greek Freak won that one. Jesus Christ, literally trolling how to OTK without the fucking OTK card. That is just annoying. <sighs> Alright, can confirm Cargus is a bot. He makes misplays. Bots make misplays. Only a bot could miss that lethal, right? <laughs> right, guys? This goes back to an earlier chat if you're new in, new in here, just like... Oh, bro, this guy always plays Anubians, and I always run into him on stream. Well, Alright. Mm. I'll need healing, and I'll need removal of uh, Anubians. Bro, take your time. He's, he's bringing the stream up, bro. He had the uh, 30 second ad from Bezos. This very and that's an Anubian. That's an Anubian. This is just free damage from my opponent. Good times. Oh, wow. I can't tell if this is board wipe now. Did I just fuck myself? I should trade if it's not board wipe. Oh shit, he's gonna make me What? This is board wipe. I thought it was a Nubian. Doesn't this guy play Nubians? Maybe it's sleep Nubians? Ooh, that's big. My favorite card popping up again. We can draw eight here. I could play gift as well, but look, I'm just healing him three. What do you guys reckon? Do we gift it up? Maybe. Why not? It's kind of annoying because he'll get it in his hand. I find it weird. It goes into your opponent's deck, so I don't like gift. I want Brimstone. I haven't seen it do anything positive yet. Or Deathwish Thanatos, like... It's weird because we're both trying to mill each other. He could easily soul furic me here and make me draw like five cards. Oh, by furicating. Oh. Are they all the same cost? Uneven, even. No, that's uneven too. Fuck me, they're all uneven. Oh, he always plays. I must have fucking confused him. I just feel so alive. Do we make him overdraw? Is that a thing we do? Fuck him. Take that.
fuck, that's so sus. <laughs> Wormwurst, how you doing, bro? Cheers. One with the sunshine. Alright. Ooh, that's tricky. So that's the one card that can literally fuck this combo. Because they, they literally change the way transform works, which means every card with the transform feature gets an indirect buff, right? So, including Baroness. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, of course it's a Rock Drake, bro. Uh, not really, because think about this, right? Look, one, um, there was meant to be a, another Rock Drake, but we milled it. But the idea is you don't actually, you have four combo pieces and they have one thought heart. It's not as straightforward as you'd actually expect. It's a little more complicated. Now we could go Rock Drake and draw. What could go wrong? Ooh, you know what we could do? We could use Ceres, go down to 10, Necronomics. No. I really don't like this turn. Oh, you know what? Let's let's just keep it simple, right? I use Empire Reborn. I get two Rock Drakes, both with full health. That's not bad, right? Now, he can hit up the uh, Apocalypse now, so not, we're not going to get too fancy on him. Yeah, I, I felt like the old Necronomics, Canopic, uh, play, sleep the board, all that fa uh, fancy shit, but... I think this is the right play. I like kind of making these cards useful, the Empire Reborn uh, and such. There's a lot of control today, so maybe I want to put Brimstones in instead of the Gifts. The Gifts have been very, uh, kind of like my uh, Christmas, you know, Gifts. Very underwhelming. Couple socks. Couple jocks. <laughs> They're like, that's what the Gift is. That's what's inside this thing, bro. Socks and jocks. That means, uh, jocks are like underwear. I guess this is Australian slang, so... Yikes. What did he do? Did he have sleep? Yep. I need to actually lower my own health, otherwise I can't do shit. Something's gotta go. Maybe Half-Life. Or maybe one of my Acolytes. I know it's an Acolyte, but I'm at 30 health. It's not like I'm using it anytime soon. Let's mill this dude. Hmm. How much could have we pushed? 18. Four. Four, eight. Yeah, this is sus. I thought about it. Eh. Oh, this is going to be whack. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got now? Another Bifuric- No, he milled a Bifuricating. So, double Apocalypse now. Or asleep. What was it? Apocalypse now? What a surprise. Oh my god. I could do something spicy, but it's kind of sus. I kind of want to go into fatigue, but I can't just go into fatigue because I want to. This is so sus, right? Hey, it works. Call it sus, but the proof is in the pudding. And then he'll put another Apocalypse Now down, and GG. See you later. Sadness. Easiest way to beat Boardwipe Death the Drakes is milling to fuck? Yeah. But he hasn't played any cards, right? It's hard to mill your opponent when he literally doesn't play cards. He just sleeps the board with the Siren. Then he plays one Canopic. Exact seven. Spam burrowing, yeah. If people start uh, using Thought Heart, your deck gets fucked. Well, we already went through that one. So we're 5 0 at the moment. Oh, nice. He's already 30 health. Like, the demo is just there to protect. Uh, 
can we push 30 in a turn? We can push 18, right? To get 30, I need another... That's going to be 22. We have a rock, a half-life, but what can we make out of it? Nothing special. I have to make him heal for two if I siren, but then he'll just a pop. But if I don't do something like that, we lose everything and we lose anyway. So I guess we do this. Make me! Now he doesn't heal, so that's kind of... Oh, he's not going to heal anyway, so I guess it really didn't fucking matter. Um, we don't mill, which is kill. But, I know it seems crazy, but I think I still play the Necro here. Right? When am I going to get another over the line for 18? But I'm dead. If it's over either way, so it doesn't really matter. We may as well raw dog it, right? I mean, he's not getting healing, so... Fuck it. We'll do it live. Um, I'm thinking a second over the line, maybe? But that's too late game to be consistent. I played Rock Drake's first macro up about 20 times. 15 losses, then like 5 in a row when I just milled uh, us both to fuck. Yeah, it can work both ways depending on if they mulligan for like demo in the early game and shit. Or if they get a Jason in the early game or a that which aches. But yeah, I can see where you're coming from. I mean, I milled the Rock Drake, which is a, uh, it's a 2 out of 30 of my deck, right? It only makes up 2 out of 30 cards, and I milled one of my core pieces, so... Super unlucky mill. Very unfortunate, and it kind of lost me the game, because if I had a second Rock Drake, we'd, every Canopic is giving me 2 Rock Drakes against an opponent who plays no creatures, applies no pressure. Wow, that's lucky, but not lucky enough. You feel? You feel, Jimmy? Um, let's get a little spicy. I might be able to spice something up. What do you guys think? You want to see something fucking biger brain? That's not really going to be... Oh, yeah. I can see you. Do you think this will actually work? I actually think this might work. We might have big brained it. What a fucking win. <laughs> Let's go. I hope I did the maths right. Easy. Holy shit, that was fucking smart. Spot the lethal. That would make for a good puzzle. GG. That was fucking 200. That was 164 IQ. <laughs> that was 164 IQ play. I just typed it. Ceres? Oh, fuck me. I didn't see it at least, so does it count? I mean, you're a smart cunt. You're, you get the... But I, I just figured it out now, bro. <laughs> I swear, you could see my eyes. I was I was tunnel visioned on it. Damn. Yeah, you're right, Midwinter. Yeah, no, I was like... Look, I can't see anything else working. It was like a desperation play. It wasn't like pre-planned. It was like, well... I want to play Ceres, but it's going to put me to 10. And then it's like, all I have left is an Acolyte and two bloody things. The lethal was harder than the previous. It was Greek Freak. And that's why I don't make sense as a human being. Last turn, also lethal. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I picked up on it as like a last resort. But you are right. Yeah. So we had 6 times 5, which is 30. But we had one unit that had 5 damage instead of 6. And one that had so that's only four spots, so 24 plus 5, 29. With, yeah, yeah, no, it would work with the gift, yeah. Nah, 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 good point. Bro, what's that background? Um, I'll show you a background if you want to see a background. Where is it? Oh, this background? <laughs> you haven't seen Winnie the Pooh? It's it's a uh, it's a scene in Winnie the Pooh where Winnie's trying to take the honey, but Winnie's fucking fat ass cheeks are so thick that they alerted the bees about her presence, and she can't get the honey now. Don't you remember that fucking episode? My favorite. 
The one where Winnie is now uh, a girl as well. Winnie gets a sex change. <laughs> That's the title of the episode. <laughs> oh god. I'll stop. Let's go. Next subject. Didn't expect to see Winnie the Pooh at Thong. First thing Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, look. You, this is the place where you'll... You'll definitely see things you shouldn't. Alright. If you saw my Mankini stream, you'd know all about it. Alright. Uh, dude, what is going on here? Oh, we're 5 and 1. You know what? Actually, we're 5 and 1, and the one loss was preventable. So, potentially even 6. 6-0. Six if I could spot obvious lethal. This is a cool name. I like to take this hero power against nature because nature has no, like, anti-sleep reach. Bring, bring, bring. That's a good start. That's good. Fleshbind's really good, but we need rock drakes for it to be good. That's good too, but having one burrowing is enough. You don't need two draw, especially with this hero power. I haven't heard this in a while, so I'll, I'll accept it. Now, we could go ramp. Ramp work. But draw is better. What is better mathematically? Ramp or draw? It's a tricky one, right? Ooh. My favorite cards coming in one after the other. Lovely. I could go full mill mode, right? Cannot be quartered. Draw eight. Draw four, sorry, every turn. Oh, he wants to draw more. He's, he's like, not satisfied with me milling him already. He's like, bro, let me give you a hand. Let me show you how it's done. This is how you mill. I got something for you, buddy. This is fine, right? We draw one, we ramp. Like, he doesn't gain as much value from ramping as I do. We've been very blessed these games. We've seen no Velka's discovery in the Sanctum. That's usually just a free loss. As soon as you see Velka's, you may as well just press this cog at the top. Go over there. Click, click, click. Go next. Again, these things are doing me uh, plenty of favors, right? The best thing this uh, card has provided me with is just this. <laughs> this is the best thing the card's done, is stopped existing. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm a little sus on this play, if I'm being quite honest. Because what are the odds he doesn't just swing twice and kill this? Right? Okay. Well, he now he can kill both, so... Yikes. The idea was, I need to get Siren on the board, though. What he should be doing is buying the Sanctum. Okay, that's unnecessary. Oh, he just wants to board lock. Okay, gotcha. I didn't realize you don't want to play cards next turn. Gotcha. Alright. I promise you we'll find a popper for the rock drake and we'll go Necronomics, pop the drake. Told ya. Oh, I lied. Um, as if we don't find them. What the fuck is this? How do I seriously... Seriously? How can I not find it? Do we, do we heal him? 
It's that or we Necronomics. Both suck. Yeah, we're not. We've already ha slept this turn, so we're definitely not Necronomicing. But that's a little annoying. We have two Untold Greeds, two Flesh Binds, right? Or do we use a Flesh Bind? No, we have two Flesh Binds, two Untold Greeds, two Blight Bombs. Blight bombs don't count though. So we have four poppers in 12 cards. You know what I should have done? Half life. Oh, look at him go. This thing put in more damage than it gave him health, so worth, right? Oh man. International. I don't need both half lives, right? Or do I not need both Necronomy? I think this will burn all these cards. They're all on two burn. Once we push it to four, we're... we're Gucci. You can tell I'm tired. It's like 11 p.m. Went on a big run. Had work today. But I, I wanted to put a stream in, guys. And I'm actually so glad I did. Because this deck is fucking awesome. I wasn't actually expecting it to be this good. Okay, lightning strike. I know the drill. Just get it, get it over and done with. Everywhere? Cargus, will this stream remain online after you stop it? I would really like to rewatch it. Yes, it will actually. I was going to make a dirty joke, but couldn't even think of one. <laughs> no, but yeah, it'll be it, it, it'll be active on YouTube. But you got to be quick because I'm going to get a strike for playing these songs on my streams. N what's his name? Yeah. Chris Brown's gonna literally fucking ban my stream. He's gonna be like, look, I'm not making money, ban this guy. Uh, shit. I wanted to do this. One of these. And then I wanted to do a Necronomics into a, a, that, and that leaves me with five cards. So I can't do that. Nah, I was going to hear a power, but I can't do both, so we're going to do this. That sucks. Dude, my hand is so bricked. That's okay, though. Maybe I play Ceres, who knows? Maybe I'll just throw out a Ceres. Honestly, pl like, playing Ceres at 30 health, it's not even stupid. It's going to win- oh, shit. Wait, he can't attack. Now, well... Wait, I thought I slept the board. What's going on here? I literally get so um, entranced in what I'm going to do this game. Like this, I love Agro War, really. I do too, but I played it the last like 10 years, so I need a bit of variety. We don't have any juices. I need my Acolytes, bro. Both of them are, th are at the bottom of my deck. So we're going to draw two and sleep. And then we're definitely gonna draw my acolytes, and we're all gonna we're gonna get it, the ball rolling. I mean, that's better than my acolytes. Oh, you know what? We slept the board, right? This is huge. I hope I slept the board. I hope I didn't fuck this up twice. Oh, that is nasty. That's nasty. Variety isn't uh, possible on a budget, sir. I know. I know. I'm just speaking for myself. But hey, aggro was being good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, shit. Hit the 0-4. That's not bad. But how much are we pushing? 18 plus 6 is 24, so we're 2 off. Yeah, that's lethal. Spot the lethal. Bang. Uh, Bada bing, bada bang, bada bong. Oh wow. That's definitely lethal. I got a feeling. So right now we're pushing 24, so we're two off. Shit. 
That's actually not um, lethal. A grey screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the makers of green screen. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so stupid. We're chilling. <laughs> Alright, easy. See, over the line would be balanced at 5 mana if you couldn't swing face with the creature before you use over the line. You know the way line in the sand works, where it's like you can only attack creatures this turn. Something like that should be applied to over the line at 5 mana. You can only attack creatures, but over the line allows your creatures to attack the god once that turn. But if your creature has attacked a god before you used over the line, then your creature can't attack a god. That would balance it in a way too. That way you pretty much need double over the line, so you need a Necronomics and double over the line and to not have died in 5-6 turns to pull off the combo. Honestly, one over the line seems to work better because you've managed to draw through your deck anyway, naturally. Pretty crazy, right? So we're like 7-0 and if we didn't make that one misplay. Far out. I like decks like this, right? It rewards skilled play. I'm not just fucking slapping down whatever the mana curve tells me to do. Oh, it's one mana? Why don't I play Wild Hog? This is good, man. Sifu produced some fucking amazing decks, but this one, this takes the cake, bro. Jesus. Mother dog. I like that he made a use for Spirit Storm and Empire Reborn. Empire Reborn's actually been putting in work. It's like having over the line in a way. You're not getting the same amount of damage as you would having two over the lines and death with Th death wish Thanators. Jesus Christ, that's a titty twist of that word. Yeah, death wish Thanators. You'd get more damage out of uh, you know over the line and two of those, but it's close having uh, Empire Reborn. You get those like extra. Death Rattles popped, but it does take up a card space. Afternoon from London, that's fucking sick, Sticks. I love that. I want to go to London one day. I want to go everywhere, though. But my wallet says, not today, buddy. Not today. Alright. This is going to be really rough. This is like the uh, one deck where we probably shouldn't win ever. I mean, he has Radiant Dawn. My whole deck revolves around sleep. He's, he already knows, bro. <laughs> GG, bro. <laughs> he already, TP Mike already knows. Second week in rank where I got 12 wins, missing MJ card by one. Shit. Yeah, it's so depressing when that happens, actually. I, yeah, I got like 10 wins this weekend, so can't relate. If you got 13 wins, you'd get two legendaries, actually, not one. You only need 10 wins for one Legendary, right? So, you still did pretty good. But yeah, I know the feeling, bro. Um, we're gonna let ourselves go low, right? So we can get the Possessed out. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, we could trade the board and what? Lose anyway? We're gonna have to try and make a quick OTK on 5 or 6. So yeah, once he gets one more turn on us, we should be able to play Acolyte and summon a couple of them. We'll see though. So he's got seven. Yeah, perfect. We give him a false sense of security by saying no, but really we're just trying to get him into our trap, right? Is he going to fall for our trap? Uh, but got up to Auric Gold last week. It was all about the Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters? Um, are they the... Four, five mana card, the three, four. Are you talking about those guys? I don't know what it, the shapeshifters are. Unless you're talking about our, our reptilian overlords. I'm, I'm not quite sure what shapeshifters are. <laughs> oh, fuck. King of Man will know about it, dude. I don't know. I don't know what the shapeshifters are. Feral with Hidden. Ah, right. My bad. I know that one. I, I love that card, bro. It's like one of my favorites. Oh, hello. He has five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have... So, nine plus four is thirteen, right? So... Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so... I could Spirit Storm twice here. 
or I could Spirit Storm Blight Bomb my own guy, or his guy, or I could try Double Spirit Storm with Necro, but it's so sus. Wait, fuck it. Let's just do something really stupid. It'll, it'll look really cool though, right? Watch this. Just watch it. I just wanted to do it for the May Maze. I'll probably lose, but... For the May Maze. You know, casual fucking 24 damage, why not? For the May Maze. Okay, so he's got, what, 5, 6, 7. He only needs 2 damage, which means Radiant Dawn's easily a win. One of those buffing spells is a win, but this looks cool, right? I can't even push lethal, but it looks cool. <laughs> That's be Oh, fuck me, bro. Oh, shit, bro. If it's... N why not? That's why. How you doing, Nando? I had a feeling that would happen. It's like, it's either Radiant Dawn or it's that shit. I, f I keep forgetting the canonize. That's the name. Alright, uh, that was... I don't know if that was winnable, but the way I played it, it's not winnable. You know, the equivalent of that on a chessboard is when... You're, you're versing someone and you pretty much, you see your king and you just slap it sideways and let it crack, hit the ground. That's what I did, I just slapped my king. Stone Viking, <laughs> speaking of kings, how you doing Viking? <laughs> Great to see you man. Oh, that was a bit of a rip. But you know what, against light, we're gonna get our fucking cheeks spread anyways, who gives a shit? I'm more of the type, you know... It's like, you can rip the band-aid off slowly, or you can just go quickly. We're just ripping that band-aid off quickly. Short and sweet, that's the way we like it. Get the pain, get the pain over and done with quickly. That's what Versing Light's about. We don't need to drag this out to turn 7 and get double Radiant Dawn. Fuck that. <laughs> that's gonna be my, uh... That's my logic behind that play. Alright. I off style. Rightio. I need to take this, right? High chance of Anubians, high chance of uh, disaster. What is a go-to for aggro light? Must be Sail Weaver? Uh, that's a tricky one, but I'll give you the answer after I do my uh, mulligan. Radiant em Embalmer? You only control light. Embalmer. You, you only run Embalmer in control. It's a 5 mana 2-4. You can get 2-4 stat line for 2 mana. Save that 3 mana and spend it on um, a Bugatti. Uh, what do I do here? Alright, let me show you. I'll show you guys until the end of time, but this could help a lot of people in the chat. Alright, let's not look at my weekend. Let's skip right to the... Um, <laughs> what is it? Top decks? Yeah. Let's just not look at my 10 wins. That, that'd be nice. Um... Alright, let me show you. If you're looking for a budget deck, and want a deck that will actually perform, don't don't look based on... Yeah. Don't look based on win rate. Look based on prize. So look at this. This is an absolute juicer of a deck. I mean, I couldn't have actually asked for a better deck for you. How do you... How is he getting 5.1 turn wins? Surely he's just buying wins at that point. You can't get 5.1 wins, can you? With a $5 deck? Uh, this looks sus. This does look sus. But let me check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. He, it has a mythic card. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, bro? I was going to say, something's wrong. Is, are all his opponents going to have TCG in the name? Okay, all you need is Omix the Mad. Yeah, $5 price. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, that's so cool. Both players start with this card on the top of the deck. Obliterate your hand and replace it with nine random nine mana creatures. Wait, why does he have it if he gets it anyway? Does he have ways to bring it back? Bro, he's not even doing it right. He could put the three mana card to get it back, or um... You know, there's lots of cards like uh... What is that three mana card where you get one card from their void, one card from your void? Like, that doesn't even seem right, what he's doing. As long as there's no corpse explosion with, with Uchi, this looks like Zambies. Uh, okay, so all you need, it's really simple if you want to get to Mythic uh, with a $5 deck. This is going to be the next Mythic challenge, bro. 
My my mythic deck was seven dollars just in core cards. This guy got to mythic with only a five dollar fifty four deck. Rank one in the world, dude. Look at this clickbait. Get to rank one with five dollar fifty four cent deck. I'll mix the mad estimated price like I don't know a mil. All right. Anyways, let's uh not get too distracted. Okay, that is nonsense. But look, Amazon Nature's okay. Look for a good play rate and win rate. We're looking light, right? So you want to go gold light. You specified light. Uh, 18, 18, 32. This is way better. So people don't understand. Look at this. 78% 32 games. 72, 18. Like, this is double the sample size. Oh, but the price is also like... Oh, okay. I see now, I see. Oi, bae. Alright, uh, I retract that uh, statement after I saw the price. Oh my days. I don't want to do this shit. Alright, fake news. Yeah, this is literally fake news. Don't listen to me. Um, There's one deck though, and it's not light. So by the look of things... Wait, we haven't had a patch in like 15 days. Let's go 15 days. Let's be a bit reasonable, right? Okay. There's literally nothing good in 15. What about 30? Are you kidding me? Alright, do not... From what I see here, I just wouldn't be playing light. Unless in tier list they have better information. Could also be possible. Order light, aggro light 49%, but 9.5%, 21,000 matches. Yeah, there's not much. It's just Solo and Bello. This looks like the most reasonable deck, and it's worth 891. So let's just get the fuck away from light. Light is shite. You know what rhymes with light? Shite. You're damn right. Alright. I'm so fucked here. It's not even funny. Help! Help! Yeah. Alright. But yeah, what I would usually do is just something as simple as this. I don't like to be God-specific, because at the end of the day, I think what we're trying to do is win games, right? How do we get here? Bloody hell, mate. Did I click the wrong button? Yeah, I clicked my uh, thing. We just want to go top decks based on price. Best deck at the moment, Amazon Nature-ish. Zombie Death's doing well. We're looking for 30 plus. Relic Wars doing well for $42. Aggro Wars doing really well. Look, if we're being reasonable, look at the win rate, bro. Aggro War has the highest win rate play rate. This deck. This. This thing. Help. Dude, this does not feel right on any level. When you're using Spirit Storm just to sleep the board, why not? Yeah, Agri War is the best budget deck, but here is the uh, here is the uh, caveat, right? There's always a caveat. This is Solar. Yeah, my bad. I'm an idiot. Um, the caveat is any deck that's the best. Like if you're going for the best deck, not the second, not the third best archetype, the best deck, it's gonna get nerfed. The you know what they say, the uh, the nail that sticks out gets hammered. You know, I don't want to get too fancy on you. But there is a saying, nail that sticks out, gets hammered. The deck that's really, you know, the strongest is going to stick out. Everyone's going to complain in Balance Channel. It's going to get hammered down into the dirt, along with your bank account and all the fancy cards you bought. So you've got to be a little careful, because there is a bit of an economic tie to this game. It's not just all, you know, bullshit. So, But here, here's the other thing, right? This can't get nerfed. This is a staple Viking. It's decent. This can get changed. This can get changed. This can get changed. Changed. They're all core cards. I mean, this is a $47 deck. I mean, it's not too crazy. This can't get changed. This can't get changed. This can. This can. This can't get changed. What the fuck is that doing in your deck? That should get changed out of the deck, if you ask me. This can't get changed. This can't. This can't. So there are some cards you could look forward to. Oh boy. You know what I'm looking forward to? Dying. Let's go. Um, why not? Hmm. We just needed one more turn of sleep. That's it. The void is not empty. empty. It has never been empty. Um.
We do one of these. Oh, is this card going to save me? I tell you what, I'm getting rid of this shit. Not once in the existence of this card being in my deck has it ever been beneficial. Out of all seven, now eight games, this card has not helped me once. Unless you want to say on technicality, it healed me out of lethal this turn. I tell you what, I'd rather have a Broomstone here. When MML nerfs, they said last year they were going to do it, so... Maybe two more years. Hammond be daddy. <laughs> it's great to see you though on an unrelated note, Joe. I don't think I uh, properly welcomed you aboard. Thank you for popping in, man. Uh, yeah, Agro War has been your most successful. It has a lot of Viking synergy, so might try and make one with Olympians instead. Ah, you're more of like... You go on... You like the uh, the less beaten track, they say, right? 2027 then? Yeah. This looks like it's going well. Dude, I was like 7 and OT time, but uh, yeah, this one's going real well. I, uh, as I was saying, this is going well. Let's get it. Freedubs.com. Um, we obviously don't need over the line, right? Oh. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just use this card? I used it in the background. So if I get rid of it now, do I get to use it and get rid of it? Look. We have to do this for science. I used it in the background, right? <laughs> okay, I don't think it worked. But just to be sure, we're going to skip the turn. Why did it let me click in the background? I like the beaten track. That's <laughs> Oh my days! <laughs> More like the beaten crack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Is the game over? Did I bug it? No. Nah. The only bug getting splat is me, baby. Alright. Um, I did a little trial and error, and I do not like these gifts at all. They have done more to help my ally than me every step of the way. I'd rather a brimstone. Everything else I really like, though. Just not that. Sometimes you actually want to lose a bit of health and quickly, so you can get to 15 quickly, so you can use your, like, shit... But I tell you now, those gifts have just been dead weight from the beginning of the game to the end. Alright, anyways. He's done an excellent job with everything else, so I'm not gonna like... I'm not roasting everything, I'm just not happy with those two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, if you're doing double uh, Necronomics, the gift might be cool. It might help you in like one out of a hundred scenarios where you do double Necronomics, but usually it's not that amazing. Um, oh, wow. Are you kidding me, bro? You... What? There was only one untold greed in this deck. That is nuts to me. That is actually nuts. I kind of get the idea, because if you cycle through to shit, you don't actually want to pop it. You want to be able to play it. And then, um, also play it again with the, uh, Spirit Storm. Uh, Tepid Mike, thank you for the follow, man. You, you surely couldn't have been my, uh, last opponent, TP Mike. That wouldn't add up. Okay. Alright, let's give it a crack. I'm already happy with it. Haven't even played it yet. Get some tunies on. What are you doing, T? Isn't it past your bedtime? Pompey. Look, this is a disclaimer. If it's Anubians, I automatically lose. That's just straight up. Yeah, GG. I thought you'd OTK me. Nah. Oh! Well, I'm happy, you know. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I knew that uh, Tepid Mike, and I thought, you know what, I'll let this guy have the win. Otherwise, I had that in the bag, obviously. Yeah, nah. Yeah, she'll do that. What's the new hot stuff? Um, Besides you, I'm enjoying this Rock Drake deck at the moment. That was smooth, right? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Look, he's getting me to 15 health efficiently, right? Really nice and quick, just the way I like it. Thanks, bro. Alright. 
Um, you're already 30 health, so maybe we get rid of this guy. I don't mind losing more health, I'm not even kidding. Uh, and new Biabs and Aggro Light is discussed. Yeah, they're the two decks that counter this, and they're the decks that are currently played in the meta quite a bit. So that's fun. So that's why I'm very shocked with Sifu's win rate. But then again, 10 games is 10 games. People can win the lottery with less less chances. More. Less? Yeah, less, I don't know. I can't English. Can't. It's too late. I'm tired. Uh, we have two choice Reno's. We could go for the Spirit Storm. If we Spirit Storm, we lose the coin, though. Mm. Yeah, no, that's sus. I can get rid of the 4-2, because if I don't get rid of the 4-2, what happens is he trades in with the bloody V-Rock and Hero Power. When your opponent plays Control Nature... Oh, bro. It actually wasn't. I nearly lost. Because these days they can heal to 40 health and then heal another 20. But, um, you missed it, tea time Do you know how I beat Control Nature? I used my Ceres to put me from 30 health to 10. And then I used Double Necronomics and that little, like, Flesh Bind to heal. And then I ended up killing my opponent in one turn. It was, like, nuts. I had to use my own Ceres to put myself below 10 so I could play Acolytes. Aggression, allow, we'll post it to chat. Wait, whoa, 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 kill these stupid white planes, auto mod. Dude, what the fuck is auto mod? How is that a thing? What the fuck? Alright, anyways. I guess we got what we wanted, right? This is not good. Talk about overdrawing. Jesus Christ. And look, everything's a fucking Anubian. That's the worst part. Mm. Thanks. Got a low win rate against Control Nature and Aggro War. Been using my Zoo Light lately. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad, Tepid. I didn't let you win. You destroyed me. What's up, Johnny? How you doing, Stodgy? Is this my John account? I have a Facebook called John Smith, and I'm using it to get verified on Pi Network. Don't tell me I'm, I'm streaming off that. That'd be hilarious. Why are you calling me Johnny? Is that because I'm a combo player? A Johnny player, as they say? He's going to do an extra three. No, an extra two. What's this shit? So that's lethal, right, if he hasn't swung? Ah, oh, excellent. Close game, though. We nearly got him. Anubians is good fun. Fun for the whole family. Let's nerf that deck into the ground so I can play more Rock Drakes. This is what I mean, bro. You can't get 10 wins in a row if you run into Anubians. Or Radiant Dawn. It's just not happening. I'd like to see Sifu's matchups, but either way, it's a fun deck. I can't deny that. We got one last. Uh, one game left. No, we don't. All right. Well, it's 11.46. My mum has work tomorrow. We're going for a 6-4 vibe lately. I have to get to bed, sadly, but I did have a ton of fun. And one of those Rock Drake games will make a great YouTube video. So that would be cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, hand you over to another creamer. Oh, speaking of creamers, we've got crew. The ultimate. All right, let's go. I love Lord Crew, dude. Go show him some love. Oh, great. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to sleep on Winnie the Pooh's cheeks. I use them as pillows. You see? Uh, GG, brother. Yeah, well played. I didn't let you win, by the way, Tep, but I was just bullshitting. You fucking destroyed me. Well done. i got to give you some credit, you know? Alright. Let me uh, fix this up. <laughs> you like that one? I'm glad, same hero. Take care. How can the aggro war be nerfed, though? The core cards. So, Winesman, if you look at most aggro war decks, there's about 15 core cards, 15 paid cards. So, core cards allow decks to always be nerfed. So, be on your toes. Alright, take care, guys. Much love. Thank you for chilling. I appreciate you a lot.